I'm 30, by the way, Bridget. <laughs> Didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of amateur stand-up comedians like to come up and make jokes about the job they do, like to poke fun of what they do for a living, so I thought I'd do the same tonight. I'm a disability support worker. <laughs> Wait to hear my jokes about that. <laughs> no, no, I love my job. Getting to drive clients around, around to hang out with them, making food. I had one client who I always used to make him dinner. And 90% of the time he had the same thing for dinner. So a bunch of mashed veggies, mashed so they're like a green mashed potato, and two beef rissoles. But he used to like encourage me to present them differently at least. So I'd like top the rissoles with the veggies and then I'd you know, make sandwiches out of them. Uh, the last time I saw him though, I, I made like a division sign. So I made like the mashed veggies like center the plate in a line and I put a rissole either side. He's there watching TV, I put it on his table, I say bye, and that was 10 months ago. I haven't seen him since. Because the next day, work called me and was like, all right, Dylan, um, your client was very upset with the state you left his dinner in last night. I'm like, oh shit, what did I do? Did I not cook the beef enough? Did I not put cheese? What, what did I do? So I took photos off and of the dinners I made him, because I'm that guy, and I'm there looking at the photo from the night before. See, it's just a division sign. You know, just a big, fat, juicy, vertical line of green mash, and then two round bristles just below centre. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to do that, I just wanted a division sign. And yeah, so this, this old guy, he was like the funniest, nicest old guy, dirty sense of humour, making dirty jokes all the time, really progressive, into gay marriage and trans rights and all that, so I didn't expect this from him. But all I can imagine was him looking at that guy and like, I'm not eating no fucking dick! <laughs> Simpson. <laughs> it's not, it's not going anywhere. 
Uh, so for the past eight years, my family's had a cat, a cute little cat my brother named her. And everyone for years has said it's a beautiful name. Her name is Gypsy. And for six years, everyone was saying, what a beautiful name. And it was like 2020 that people started saying that Gypsy is actually a racial slur and it's offensive to Romanian people. And I'm like, oh shit, that's... That's coming out more and more now that pretty soon this is being filmed. By the time I upload this, it'll probably get taken down. And I'll have to start telling people that I have a cat named the G-Word. <laughs> not only that, in 2013, I was in a musical called Gypsy. So after the past nine years, I've had a poster on my bedroom wall with big Broadway letters saying an ethnic slur. <laughs> with a cat named after that slur. <laughs> But, um, can you imagine that? Just imagine in 10 years' time how inappropriate that will seem. Because can you imagine today going over your white friend's place and he's like, Hey, kitty, kitty, this is my cat. Her name is the N-word. <laughs> and then you walk into his room and then there's just a poster which is N-I-G, etc. In big Broadway letters. So, moral of the story is be careful what you name your pets, because people with dogs named Buster, I have a feeling you're next. <laughs> I don't know why, it just seems like one. Alright, thanks, thanks everyone. <laughs>